Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Storyboard That to create simple comic strips. Storyboard That has a number of plans available. There's a free plan that allows you to make three or six frame comics. Uh, there's also paid plans that include a classroom edition, which is what I'm using here. In the classroom edition, you can manage student accounts and you can share comics with students and they can share back with you. Uh, I'm going to create a simple comic here. Let's go ahead and start by selecting some scenes for our background of the comic. And we can choose from a variety of categories. Let's go ahead and uh, use this castle icon or castle background. I'm going to put that in all three of my frames here. We're going to do a simple three frame animation. Now, as you can see, we can edit each frame. We can uh, flip it and rotate it around. We can add layers to it. Or we can simply delete it if we decide we want to change the background. You can click on the delete button and you can remove that frame. And I'll put it back in there. So now let's go ahead and let's add some characters. And again, in the characters section, we have a variety of types of characters to pick from. I'm going to go into the classical department here. And here in our classical department, we can perhaps select the king. And we'll drag the king to our desktop. There it is. And let's drag the queen into place. And we'll put them right in front of their castle. Again, we can click and drag on the corners of it to make a character larger or smaller. Uh, we can pivot the characters around and flip them as well. You'll notice we can also change the hair, skin, and eyes of our characters. I'm going to use the characters as they are. And let's go ahead now and add some text. So I click on Textables. And again, there's four categories here of speech bubbles that we can use. I'm going to go ahead and use the, this style speech bubble. And I'm just going to type, uh, welcome to our castle. And we can change the size of the font here. We can also change the color of the font if we like. And I want to match up that speech bubble so it fits in the frame and we'll shrink it down a bit. There it is. Welcome to our castle. Great. Now I'm going to add the next set of characters to my comic. So I'm going to go back to my characters and I might put the king and queen in front of their castle again. I want to make a short little story here. I'm going to make those a little bit smaller and just click and drag them. And make the queen a little bit smaller as well. And reposition them so they're standing on the ground and not floating. Perfect. And now let's say we want to have a young gentleman caller appear in front of the castle. So we'll put him down here. and we'll add some text. Let's go ahead and use a little different style text this time. We'll use a, a circle and we'll say I have come for my princess. And we're going to move that speech bubble a little bit. There we go. We'll make that text fit in the space allotted. There we go. And so our final scene will be the prince and princess in front of the castle. There we go. And we'll put them in place. And we'll just add a little bit of text. We'll go right there and say and they lived happily ever after. 
All right, so I've made a simple three scene comic strip here. I can now save this. I'm going to save it in my account and give it a little title. And we'll just say uh, a short fairy tale. And we can give it the same description if we want as a title. There we go. Now let's save it. And the neat thing here when I save this in my account is I'll be given the option to download my comic strip as a PowerPoint presentation. I can also download each one of the scenes as a PNG file. So here it is. It's saved. I can download the images or I can download this as a PowerPoint. I can print it. Again, I'm using a classroom account. Classroom accounts aren't free, um, but if you do sign up for a classroom account, you can share this directly to all the students in your class. If you're using the free version of Storyboard that, you can still download the images and download the PowerPoint. Uh, you just won't be able to share with a, a group of students unless you are uh, emailing them out instead of trying to share within a Storyboard that account. So that's Storyboard that. It's a neat little tool, simple way to make some quick comic strips with your students.